I want to talk about suicide, okay, for five minutes. And before I talk about suicide for five minutes, well, here's what I want to say to you. First off, I know there are a lot of people in this class who have, have friends and family who have committed suicide. I know there are many of you who have friends and family who have attempted suicide. And I know there are many of you in here who you yourselves have thought or are thinking about or will think about suicide. So for you, I want to say the following. Look, listen to what I'm saying very carefully. Because I'm giving you the best argument for seeking help, for reaching out and talking to someone that you will ever get. Because I'm basically going to show you the ways in which you cannot trust that any of your impulses, any of your thoughts about wanting to commit suicide are actually coming from you. And since you cannot trust that, committing suicide is a very irrational option. It's not rational if you know. I mean, it is rational if you know that, hey, I'm thinking about, um, um, because of X, Y, or Z in my life, I am thinking that I am going to end my life. And I am, it is my thought, it is only my thought, this is my life, it's only my life, I am 100% in control of my life, and 100% in control of my thoughts, and so therefore, I am going to, I am thinking of making this step over here into ending my life. It's very rational. One leads to two, leads to three, leads to four. But if you apply the sociological imagination, if you really understand how this operates, you cannot trust that any of your thoughts are actually your own, that any of your decisions are actually your own. And so therefore, there's no way, shape, or form when you, actually, you can actually trust that you are free, thinking freely, acting freely, or feeling freely. And so therefore, suicide becomes a really irrational option. There is nothing that you could decide in the world that is more personal than ending your own life. It's, it's, you, there's nothing more psychological than that. It's purely personal. You don't go out and take a poll, to, hey, do you think I should end my life? How should I do it? What do you think? Is my word? Nobody does that. Most people who commit suicide make the decision all by themselves. They don't tell anybody. Maybe they leave a note. Mostly they don't. Oftentimes, there's not even depression. Even if there is depression, it's something, even a clue. So it's purely psychological, okay? If it is purely psychological, then what we would expect is the suicide rate to be going up and down and up and down and up and down because individuals are making the choice. You think it's your decision. Got it? You think it is. You think that you're sitting there going, yeah, or you're home over break or whatever it is. You think it's about you. But it's not about you. And the reason it's not about you is because of sociology. Because, go to the next slide. Suicide rates remain basically stable. Meaning in the United States, out of every 100,000 people, about the same number of people year after year after year take their own lives. Which tells me that somehow there are these invisible strings that we're connected to it. That all of us, that the invisible strings start tugging at us in different ways. And they tug so that every year after year, so that this year and next year, about 12 people out of 100,000 people will commit suicide. And every damn one of them will think that it was their own individual choice. It's like, no, this was me. I made this choice. Like, no, you can't make the choice if the invisible strings are attached to everybody and the same number of people essentially year after year are taking their own lives. That means there's something else causing the behavior. And that something else causing behavior is the thing that we don't understand and we don't see. And that is the core of sociology. And that is why sociology is so awesome. And that is why sociology is the best excuse or reason to never take your own life. Because you're not in fucking control of it. You can't be in control. You're not. If that's happening, you're not in control. Something else is in control. And what is that? 
This is, this is, it doesn't matter what it, the most deeply psychological behavior, it's irrelevant. So like I could, some of you to have other behaviors that are like deeply, just deeply troubling and disturbing and all sorts of things. And you, you, you're sitting back in the quiet solitude of your own maybe despair thinking like this is about you and it's not about you. Somehow society is organized in such a way that the same number of people will take their lives year after year after year. And so what you want to do is understand how is society organized and what is my place in that society and how can I get out of that because this isn't about me. And that's power, and that's the beginning of freedom. And if you don't really get that, you don't get the freedom. You can never be free unless you understand the deep, deep, deep ways in which you're not free. What we see is that people who have an inclination, maybe to commit suicide or thinking about suicide, we see similarities between them. They're really interesting across the board. Similarities that sometimes have nothing to do with what it would be. It's not about depression. It's not about a certain kind of depression. It's not, no. It's sometimes, it's like men have higher rates of suicide than women. Or, you know, it's one after another. It's crazy. And like, so sociology shows us the ways in which our social location affects us in such deep psychological ways. Because it's... Whatever the pain is that would lead somebody to be in this, whatever the pain is, it's a pain that is shared. And once you understand it's a pain that's shared, then you go to the shared source of the pain, and then you get to it. But you only get to it with other people. You don't get to it by yourself. It's not about that. We're all the same. The reason, all the, 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 the reason all, the, all the men in here are wearing slacks is the same reason as why s- some people cut and some people don't. We're all connected in similar ways. What do you feel the role of like, or do you even believe in chemical imbalances of mental health? Mm-hmm. Like what... Because yeah. I definitely hear you and yeah. um, like ag- agree with the, your perspective. Yep. I'm just curious, like how you feel. No, the there's a huge. That's hugely a part of it for many people, right? We have chemical imbalances, and and we have chemical imbalances that are structured by you know f- foods that we're eating today that we need to eat in the past, or the fact that people are we have new drugs out on the market, and so people are able to uh, you know prescribe certain drugs that they weren't able to in the past and we prescribe more of those drugs and the price goes down and so we prescribe even more and then we never you know you never know right like you have no idea but there's no question that for that we there's a link with suicide and depression but that's one ideation you got this entire other ideation of like of people where the re- where the rest of us and many of us in here have turned around and said whoa holy Really? I had no idea. And then we spend, I can't tell you how many conversations I've had with students, with groups of students from a fraternity, from a sorority, from a club, from a this other, like at my house, like people coming over to my house and et cetera, because one of their brothers or sisters committed suicide and like, you know, a bunch of them are in my class and they're just trying to understand and they're just struggling and like, I don't know, I wish we knew. And then for the rest of their lives, they'll wrestle with it because that private decision that that person made thinking it was their own decision and it won't, they didn't see and they couldn't see those invisible strings. So on one hand, you have all the imbalanced stuff. Yes. On the other hand, for all these, this other world, you have something else. And the same goes for cutting, by the way. It's the same thing. Thank you.